what's going on man i'm back at it got another one um yeah this next one man i think is is you know, i think it's important to talk about um check this out imagine going into the dmv to renew your driver's license and you get arrested for a crime that you didn't commit you got warrants out on you that you don't know anything about and then to make matters worse you get put in jail with people who are there for some of the most heinous offenses and then you get violated while you're there that's exactly what happened to a man down in houston texas who was uh, arrested based on flawed facial recognition technology um so i'm gonna show you this because it's because it's crazy it, it, it's crazy that this stuff is going on um but yeah yeah let's check this one out because i think this one is a, a important thing to talk about grandfather is suing the parent companies of Macy's and Sunglass Hut after he was wrongfully accused and arrested for robbery in Harris County in 2022. But that's just where the story begins. Fox 26's Anthony Antoine spoke with the victim's lawyer. He joins us now with those details. Anthony. Well, faulty facial recognition software is at the heart of this case. 61 year old Harvey Eugene Murphy Jr. A grandfather was taken to jail because the technology pinned him as the primary suspect for that robbery. But according to the lawsuit he was taken to jail and in a matter of hours he was beaten raped and then released and now years later he's suing on january 22nd 2022 this sunglass hut on west gray in houston was robbed by two armed men the employees inside were threatened at gunpoint and taken to the back of the store while the suspect stole money and several pairs of glasses sunglass hut may not have access to facial recognition software and so the documents show that they took the video to Macy's, who then used his features to determine that he was the one that had robbed the Macy's before and identified him as Mr. Murphy and told Sunglass Hut. Daniel Duco, the lawyer for 61-year-old Harvey Eugene Murphy Jr., who is from Houston, says his client was in California at the time of the crime. Murphy Jr. eventually moved back to Texas for work in October of 2023. And he goes to the DMV to get his driver's license renewed, and the police officer comes from around the counter and puts handcuffs on him and arrests him. And that was the beginning of a life-changing ordeal. Murphy was taken to jail for multiple felony warrants for the robbery at the Sunglass Hut. Court documents suggest the store employee was also prepped by the company and identified Murphy as the robber, with facial recognition playing a key role in his arrest. Murphy gave officers his alibi. It checked out, and he was told he would be released. While he was being held in jail, he was going to use the restroom. He was beaten sexually assaulted, raped. Because of the nature of the alleged crime, lawyers say Murphy Jr. was put alongside violent criminals. Three men followed him to the bathroom and raped him with a shank pressed against his neck. He was released and the case was dismissed. He is now suing the parent company of Sunglass Hut and Macy's for using the facial recognition software that led to his false imprisonment. The dangers of using this technology is also outlined in court documents. I know for a fact that studies have showed that African Americans have a high high rate of false positives based on facial recognition software. I also know comparing people who are older with pictures of them of other people when younger. So age gaps have a very high rate up to 90% of false positives. According to his lawyer, Murphy has long-standing physical and psychological injuries, and he is now coming forward to raise awareness and hopefully prevent this from happening to someone else. Now, I want to note here the Houston Police Department and Harris County is not named in this lawsuit. It's a long list of people here, and they're not one of them. Murphy's attorney also believes the parent companies from Macy's and Sunglass Hut are the real people at fault here, and they are suing for $10 million. We did our due diligence. I reached out to Macy's. All right, man. So crazy, ain't it? I mean, you know, my, my first thoughts about this is that this, this could have been anybody. This, this could have happened to anybody. I mean, when you think about it, if he didn't have that alibi where he was out of state at the time of the robbery, he might still be in jail right now. Um, but his alibi was eventually verified. He was released, and then the case was dismissed. Um, but but 
this this man, Mr. Murphy, he was put through all kinds of hell based on some flawed technology and because of a store employee who was prepped, which I'm thinking that that employee was coached into identifying Mr. Murphy as the robbery suspect. So it, it, it's like it's like they were trying to pin this robbery on him no matter what. And they would have gotten away with it if it had not been for him being out of state at the time that the robbery happened. Cause it's, I mean, it's, it's physically impossible to be in two places at once. Um, but this is just one of those things where you just can't say, Oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. My bad. You know, this man, I think he was locked up for like two weeks, locked up for a crime that he didn't commit, probably lost his job while he was sitting in, uh, sitting in the jail cell, waiting for his alibi to be verified. And I'm like, damn, take two weeks to verify a, a, a alibi. Um, Cause I was reading that story. I was reading some more about it and uh, yeah, he was in there for like two weeks and I'm like, damn, but um, yeah, I'm glad that he's suing um, the, uh, the two companies, you know, suing them uh, because this just caused a lot of unneeded stress in his life. You, you pretty much ruined his life. Um, and I know a lot of people are saying to sue the police department too, um, and, and who knows that could still be coming because his, uh, his lawyer, when I was reading, um, the, uh, report, his lawyer, uh, made a statement saying that the police, they were misled by sunglass hut and Macy's. And that's why they didn't go after the, um, uh, the police, the, the police department. Um, but he did say that they might find information. And if they do find information that, uh, you know, causes them to add the police department later, then they'll do that. Um, but the main targets right now is the, are those two stores because none of this happens if they weren't so quick to tell the police that they were 100% sure they had the right person using this flawed piece of technology. And then the employee who was coached to try and pin a crime on somebody who who didn't do it. So it would, it would almost seem like they kind of knew that they screwed up or they weren't sure. Uh, by telling the cops that they had uh, uh, the guy, you know. Um, and so in order to kind of, you know, save face once they kind of maybe realize or where there was some kind of doubt, they just said, screw it. They're just going to put it on this guy. Um, but they tried it. So, I mean, yeah, they were the ones who who set off this unfortunate chain of events. And, uh, yeah, I hope he gets the $10 million and then some, you know. But, uh, yeah, just be aware that this type of technology, it, it's hard to avoid now because it's damn near everywhere at this point. We're talking about airports, um, casinos, sports stadiums, concert venues, shopping malls. You know, it, it, it's pretty much everywhere. So you can't avoid it. Now, I do also know that some people are going to say, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, then you don't have anything to worry about. But, but look at this guy. Look what happened to Mr. Murphy. He was just going into the DMV to renew his driver's license, and he came out arrested with, with uh, robbery charges on him. So I, I, I don't know of anybody who's just going to lay down and take false charges. Uh, and plus, how, how do you know that your face isn't in some kind of uh, database or some kind of lineup somewhere? You know, what, what are those companies using these images for? What are they using that stuff for? I mean, you really don't know. And, um, and, and when things get to that point, you know, of the situation that Mr. Murphy was in, I mean, you're going to have to fight like hell to prove that you're innocent. And it, and it may be a long time. Because like I said, this could have happened to anybody. It, it don't matter if you, you're, if you got anything to hide or not. This could have happened to anybody out here. So just a little something to think about. And um, yeah, hopefully he gets what he's asking for in that lawsuit. But uh, no amount of money can ever fix the psychological and the, the physical damage that was done. So take care, stay safe, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.